anatomy of ear and it's working the ears are known as tato acoustic organ of rabbit and in fact function as hearing and equilibrium so there are two functions one is called the hearing and the second is called the maintain the equilibrium balance of the body the mammalian ear or the rabbit ear has three parts an external ear this one is the external ear and middle ear this pink color is the middle ear and an internal ear so three regions are the Let's look at the external ear. It's made up of pinna. An elongated pinna is the which direct the sound towards the second part that is called the external auditory canal. This auditory canal. And it touches the tympanum, a vibrating membrane. So this is the tympanum. So tympanum, external auditory canal, and the Pinna constitute the external ear. The auditory canal, this area is provided with the number of hair cells, oil gland, and wax glands. So their secretions prevent the entry of microorganisms and small insects. Now the second part that is the middle ear constitute this three bones, three ear bones, they are called a malleus, incus, and stapes. Three bones are there. So, this cavity is called a tympanic cavity. Tympanic cavity. This tympanic cavity communicates with the pharynx through a canal called so. This channel is called a eustachian tube. This one is the eustachian tube. The middle ear communicate with the internal ear to an opening called through two openings. One is called here. There is an opening here. This is called oval window. This one oval window. And the lower part there is a window called in round shape. It is called a round window. So round win round window on the lower side and oval window on the upper sides. And this is the middle ear so this is the tympanic membrane so the first bone is called hammer like malleus the second one is called annual shaped incus and third one is the strip shaped stipis and there is a use taken tube the internal ear consists of a membranous labyrinth which is covered over by a bony capsule which is made up of preotic bones, preotic bones. The bony capsule and bony labyrinth and membranous labyrinth and down. So inside the bony capsule, the membranous labyrinth are present. So there is a space between the bony labyrinth and the membranous labyrinth. So this space is filled with the perilum, perilum. This is made up of bone, and this is the membranous labyrinth. So there is a space here which is filled with the perilin. While the inside the membranous labyrinth, this one, this whole pink color, this all filled with the endolymph. But under the title solution on the perilymph endolymph. And what are the parts of the internal ear? The internal ear consists of a vestibule. Vestibule. The uticulus and saccule together constitute the vestibule. And there are three semicircular canals one, two, and three, three semicircular canals. And the cochlea constitute this internal ear. The vestibule, the uticulus, and saccule. Vestibule means it's consists of uticulus and saccules. In addition to the uticular and saccules, there is a Three semicircular canals. This one, the second one, and the third one. So both are called lateral semicircular canals. So this is called the anterior semicircular canals. Third portion is the 
cochlea. Cochlea is actually the hearing apparatus. Inside the utricle and saccule, so there is a specialized balancing organ called macula utriculae, and in the saccule it is called macula sacrum. So this is a enlarged view. So you can see any many hyaces, sensory hyaces are there, which is covered over by a jelly-like jelly-like solutions. And in that solution, there is a minute a balancing structure is called a autolith, calcium carbonate autolith. So whenever there is some unbalancing, there will be some shifting movement of this this jelly-like membrane that causes the stimulation of the hair cells. So, macula utricle and macula sacrae is one of the balancing organs. That is an enlarged view of the hair cells. It is a more like hair cells are specific to balancing. It is a high cumulative. It is a polar jelly-like membrane solution. It is a jelly-like. It is a more like an autolith. It is a more like an autolith. It is a very minute type. It is a very poor type. It is a very poor type. अब ऐप्रेल में शरीर ऐसे में वाले वस्त्र के अनबैलेंस पावन समय तक ये वाले जल्लूम अधैर वस्त्र के मुंह चेन समय तक दिस औरतों ने कम्स इन कांटेक्ट होता है हैसल्स एंड दस द हैसल्स विल बी स्टिमुलेटेड एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट द ब्रेन इंटरपेटेड मूवमेंट चेंजेस एंड बैलेंस द बॉडी सो दिस इज so there is a swelling in the beginning and the end. This means that canals in the total total and down side there is a swelling. This is called the ampulla. The ampulla is a little bit of a structure called balancing organ called and the pair is crista ampullaris. The macula is a crista ampullaris function maintain the balance body balance equilibrium. Semi-circular canals are the balancing organ of the crystal ampullaris. Utricular and saccular are the balancing organ of the macula. Now we move on to cochlea. Cochlea is a coiled shape. So in cross section it has three chambers. The upper chambers. So this is called scala vestibule. This one. This chamber is called the scala vestibule. It continues down as scala tympani. That is each chamber is scala tympani. Why scala vestibule and scala tympani are connected? Now this part is called helicotrema. Helicotrema. This one, this area is called helicotrema. And there is a middle chamber that is called the media, scala media. This one is called the middle one, scala media, which is filled with the Endolym. This is filled with endolym. Both these are filled with the scala vestibule and scala tympani are filled with the perilymph. There is an opening called round window on the scala tympani and a oval window in the scala vestibule. The step is in touch with the oval window. The round window maintains the pressure. Balance the pressure. Now the co cross section of cochlea, organs of cochlea. So this is the cross section. This upper chamber is called the scala vestibule. Middle is called the scala media. And the lower one, one is called the scala tympani. And there is a membrane called the basilar membrane. So this one is the basilar membrane. More like a membrane on our area. This is called a resonous membrane. This membrane is called a resonous membrane. And there is another membrane that is called a tectoral membrane. So three membranes are called other basal kernel, basilar membrane, top kernel, the resonous membrane, and the daily kernel, the tectorial membrane. Resting on the basilar membrane, there is a fine uh, specialized cells. These cells are called organs of Corti. Alphonse are Corti, the scientist who discovered it. So this is called organs of Corti. Organs of Corti are actually the hearing apparatus.
So this is connected with the organs of cochlea is connected with the cochlear nerve, which helps in hearing. The ear works. The pinna directs the sound waves into the auditory canal where it vibrates the tympanic membrane. The tympanic membrane is in connection with the malleus. So these vibrations are transferred to the internal ear through malleus, incus and stapes respectively. The stapes is connected to the oval window. So this vibration is passed on to the perilymph in the scala vestibuli. So this vibrate, this solution vibrates, that vibration comes on the lower side that is in the scala tympani. So the perilymph in the scala tympani vibrate. Power vibration ripples or all down. You would you would end down the all with the road of the mere tartaku, tarabati, you would be all and down. Our vibration and down the summit and the sun waking yoka. So that vibration, the road of poet, the shibu road of the summit, this vibration causes this one to vibrate. It has this when the tari organs of cotton of other part to vibrate here. So this tip will in contact with the tectorial membrane. The tectorial membrane will touch it. But touch it in some way, vibration will be more active. If the organs of cortical or the cells, sensory cells, the tectorial membrane will touch it in some way. That is the frequency it can such a strength and such a it creates waves, sound waves and passes through the auditory nerves. It goes through the auditory nerve into the brain. This vibration is a round window very near a tympanic membrane, middle ear cavity like that. The diffuse ear, the vibration is not there. The vibration is not there. I am talking about total total waves. That is not acceptable. So this is the working of ear.